everybody and welcome to Dual Z, another expansion for the Skirmisher Dual, allowing you to send your warband on a mission in an area that will be overrun by zombies over the course of the game. The warband consists of Mort who comes with two toughness, two followers, and the feats Precision Shot and Volley. Then there is Big Jim, who also comes with two toughness, two followers, and the feats Berserker and Leap. Then there is Doc, who is a Ritualist by the Occultus expansion. He has got two followers too. He has rent the followers up to a choir and he comes with the rituals explosion and obligate. And there is Alice, a skill user from the Heast expansion. She too comes with two toughness. She's got a regular follower and two hounds which she will control via the skill Animal Handling. And also she comes with a skill Mend, so she can heal the other heroes. The mission the heroes are sent on is bring this Native American ambassador right across the area and leave via the opposing corner. Sounds too simple? Okay, let's play in nightmare mode. The ambassador is panicked and will move every turn onwards, no matter what, no matter into which situation. Let's go! An initial spawn of zombies has been placed, shamblers mostly, back there a runner has spawned, So, the heroes and their retinue just move forward. The dogs are fast, they can move a bit fast, uh, further. And here everyone, everyone else just moves into the area. Uh, Nothing too exciting for the first turn. And our ambassador moves because, because. Let's see what the zombies are doing. So this is just a summary of what happened in the zombies turn. They moved and as each zombie is out of uh, weapons reach of the warband, Nothing too exciting happened here, no combat at all. So let's continue with the next player's turn. Right at the beginning of each turn, zombies spawn. So another Shambler has spawned, a runner, and a Fatso. Fatsos are uh, very, very tough zombies. They're slow, they hit worse than the other zombies, but yeah, they are very tough to kill and it might take a while to, to take this zombie down. But at first there are two zombies behind this tree, one, two, um, I think both of them should have the top priority. So, I'm starting the turn with Alice, who is moving out here. And she's shooting at the zombie here. Mm, she shoots on a three. The zombie tries to defend on a two. Fails the defense. 
So Alice gets to shoot, does not score a hit, but unloads her entire pistol, her entire magazine. So let loose the Hounds of War. They are fast, fortunately, so they basically have two actions. First action, second action is a charge against a regular zombie. So this hound receives a plus one on each die rolled and it attacks on a three. Again, the zombie strikes back on a two. So the zombie gets to strike first. The zombie rolls a six. Dang, that's the one hit required to actually hit uh, to actually kill the hound, no two things happen. First of all, the hound is replaced by a zombie of the type that killed it. So we've got another shambler here. And as Alice has been within um, a reach of four inch, she receives one point of insanity as um, a member of her team has been killed within four inch talk about bad positioning mm. well let's send in the second dog the second hound this one charges as well but this time on a two the other zombie oh, strikes back on a six Two, three, four, five, six. That's not a hit. It's just one hit by the hound. So the zombie can strike back and does strike back. Scores two hits. Oh dear. Oh dear. On turn two, two casualties. That's a pretty bad start into a game. Dang. All right. This follower moves here and fires at the uh, well at the three zombies standing here. The dice will determine who's going to be hit. And the follower fires on a four and. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the one in the front. That, that zombie tries to defend on a six. That's too slow. So. Not a hit, but this one is a hit. So this zombie receives a hit too. Good. Um, yeah. Next in line, Doc and his followers. Doc advances, uh, lacks a ranged weapon, so. so his followers will have to do the shooting for him. First one shoots into this crowd as well, on to the one in the front, and shoots on a Let's try it on a two. The zombie tries to defend on a four. That's too slow. Okay. Stay here. Two misses. Dang. Next one. Uh, again, an attack at these three and she, she hits the one in the back on a, let's go on a five this time. The zombie tries to defend on a three, fails the defense. So that's two hits. By the way, the red die I roll with the hit dice is always the um, reload die. On a six, a character needs to reload. So that's two hits on the zombie in the back. At least one of them is taken out. Mm. Okay. 
the other folks getting closer. Fire. One, two, three, four, five, six. At the one in the front on a three. Let's try it. The zombie tries to defend on a one. Fails the defense. So three and a five. That's another hit. Okay, this one's taken out. <clears throat> this fellow will move here, attacks that zombie on a four. The zombie tries to defend on a six, it's too slow. Hits, and that zombie is out. All right. Let's see who's left. Mod advances here. And he should have a couple of targets within. No, actually, he only has got this one. Uh, no, there's another zombie behind that tree, but it's around the corner. So, yeah, Mod attacks the runner. Mm. On a two, shooting a runner or attacking a runner always gives you a plus one. The runner tries to defend on a three, but that's too slow. So two hits against the runner. The runner is taken out. All right. And last but not least, Big Jim and his followers. Yeah. Closing in. And the ambassador moves somewhere here. All right, let's see what the zombies are doing. All right, the zombie behind the corner. Can be seen by Alice, who can't shoot, by this follower, by Doc's followers. There is still another one behind here. Mm. So, one, two, three followers. No open fire on the zombie. Um, I won't give them separate dual scores for no. So every one of the followers just shoots on a three at the zombie. The zombie tries to defend on a three, but fails the defense. So first follower delivers one hit. The second follower Delivers two hits, that's enough to take the zombie out, but she needs to reload. Yeah, she's attacking with a deck of cards, I know. Very deadly cards, so a uh, third follower just checks for a reload. Nope, okay. So, this one moves here and is within reach to everyone. So everyone with a loaded gun, no fires at the Shambler. Mm. The two heroes fire on a two. The followers as a backup solution on a four. And the zombie tries to defend on a two, but fails the defense. All right, so Big Jim fires first. Two 
2 plus 6, that's a hit. Mod. Cross the remaining required hits to take the zombies out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five followers that need to check whether they need to reload. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay. But wait, there is more. Another shambler coming closer. And no one close enough. Here's a runner who may not only move five inches per, uh, per action, but also has got two actions because he's a runner. And well, technically, these two could shoot the runner, but they don't have any ammunition left for doing so. So all that's left is the fatso who moves here. And yeah, once again, nobody can shoot the fatso. All right. Some more zombies have spawned. Shamblers mostly, and a runner. In case you wondered where the shambler uh, has remained that was behind here, he's right here within cover and will come out during the next zombie turn. And yeah, chances are the warband will just shoot it down. But let's see what happens. All right, for the moment. Alice tries to activate the two choirs are within reach, but not her choir. They are not her choir, so she doesn't get any bonus from them. And she rolls equal to her insanity score, so she can't do anything for this turn. <sighs> Uh, but her follower moves forwards and shoots at the runner behind here. There's a runner. And she shoots this one as this one is not in cover, as opposed to that one. She shoots on a four. The runner tries to defend on a 2. The runner, being a runner, receives plus 1 to each of his dice. So this one is a 5, resulting in a 7. So that's a perfect defense. And she cannot hit him anymore. Does she need to reload? No. Okay. <laughs> Enter. Mod. Mm. He dares firing at this um, runner on a four. On a four. This runner tries to defend on a one, but fails. So, Mord shoots, scores two hits as the runner is behind cover. One hit needs to be re-rolled, but it's still a hit, so the runner is taken out. Okay. Mm. So first follower moves here. and shoots the runner back there. Mm, on a, let's go, on a five. 
The runner tries to defend on a four and scores a seven plus one is an eight. That reduces the chances of the follower to hit the runner. Five, six, seven, eight. So no, not a hit. The follower would have had to roll a one to actually score a hit. And yeah, well, at least no reload. Okay, this, the other follower moves up here and may fire at the runner two, but this one fires on a three. The runner tries to defend on a six, too slow. So, uh, fail. Yeah, that happens, that happens. Let's see, we've still got Big Jim here, who uses his leap ability to jump onto the rooftop from where he's got a, uh, a better, better view on the entire area. And his followers, well, one of them moves up here and can now shoot the the runner back here on a four. The runner tries to defend on a five. So four, five, six, plus another one because it's a runner. So the runner receives a hit, but the follower receives a reload marker as well. The other follower just reloads and remains in position. And Doc is still, uh, still needs to activate. So he just um, doubles with the spirit world, raising his spirit die to a two. His followers may move, but they shouldn't move too far away from Doc. So this one just moves here and yeah, fires at the runner as well. On a three, the runner tries to defend on a two, fails the defense. So the follower shoots and fails the shot. And the other follower yeah, just moves somewhere here. From here she can shoot the follower as well. I didn't measure anything, but yes, she can. <laughs> and shoots, ugh, come on, on a five. The runner tries to defend on a four, fails the defense. So let's take him down, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. The whole posse was required to take down a single runner. That's bad, folks. Very bad. Let's see what the zombies do. Right, as mentioned before, here out of cover, zombie camp comes out and is within reach of pretty much everyone. Oh wait, last turn, our ambassador moved forwards. So the zombie popped out of cover and has got Maud, who's shooting at the zombie on a two, the followers on a three, the zombie itself tries to defend on a three. So Maud gets to shoot before the zombie defense. That's one hit against the zombie. Okay, 
Now the zombie may try to roll for defenses. Rolls a four. That's enough to defend each incoming hit. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven followers who need to check their weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What did I say? One, two, three, four, five. This one needs to reload. Okay. Next. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. That's everyone except Big Jim on the roof and uh, this follower here. So once again, Mod shoots on a three. The followers shoot on a four. And the zombie tries to defend on a six. Great. So, Mord. Fails. The followers, one by one. This one. Reload. It fails the shot. That one. One hit. Mm, that one. Another hit and reload. So, who are the remaining ones? It's just this one. Needs to check for her weapon. No reload. Okay. I've got another zombie back here. Too far away. The zombie advances. Yep. And Mort fires on a two. Anyone left? One follower, two followers, both fire on a five. The zombie tries to defend on a one. Okay. Defense, everything. So, Mort checks for a reload. First follower. Great. And the second follower. All right. And the fatso comes closer. Now not many guns left that could fire at the fatso. No. Up here on the rooftop. There is still Big Jim who is within reach. That's good. So, Big Jim can fire at the Fatso, Mord, and one follower. Okay, let's see. Mm. Big Jim fires on a four. Nope. Big Jim and Mord both fire at a, on a three. The followers on a Five, the followers. No, it's only one follower left. How about the one back here? No, too far away. So only this one fires on a five. The um, Fatso tries to defend on a five. So the two heroes get to shoot before the Fatso defends and they shoot with a minus one. So. Jim needs to reload and three plus four is seven but minus one it's a six so he doesn't even hit 
mod scores one hit. That's okay. And the, the follower could try to shoot, but the fatso rolls in nine minus one is eight. So only results of seven will hit. Three plus five is eight, but minus one is a result of seven. So the fatso has gotten two damage this turn, reducing his toughness to a four. Okay. Time for a new turn. Once again, a couple of zombies have spawned, Shamblers mostly, and another Fatso, as if one was not enough. Great. <laughs> All right. I'm starting the turn with Mort. Mort is using his precision shot skill which is pretty useful in this um, zombie scenario because uh, now he gets plus two on each die rolled. In any regular game, anyone shooting at Mord would get a bonus two, but as the zombies are all melee combatants, they can't shoot Mord. So precision shot is actually pretty strong in the zombie scenario, I think. And anyway, Mort shoots at the at the Fatso on a three. The Fatso tries to defend on a two. It's a Fatso, so it receives a minus one to each die rolled, so it fails the defense. Mort again receives a plus two, minus one, so that's still a plus one on each die rolled. Not a hit, hit, hit. Two hits against the fatso. Reducing the fatso's toughness to two. Come here. Mm. Yeah, well. This follower reloads and fires at the fatso. Fatso is behind cover. Mod should have re-rolled one of the hits. I forgot. Okay. The um, this guy reloads, fires on a five. The Fatso tries to defend on a six. Too slow, too slow. So open fire. That's one hit. This one, minus one, is not a hit. It's and so the shot fails. Okay. And this guy reloads. And he fires at the zombie back here. On a four. The zombie tries to defend on a six. So that's one hit against the Shambler back there. Okay. Big Jim reloads and fires at the Fatso. Uh, Still counts as being in cover. Big Jim fires on a on a six. Should I dare? Let's do it. The Fatso tries to defend on a four. No defense. This one counts as a four, so he rolls a defense value of eight. So Big Jim only scores on results of seven. 
<laughs> and minus one, minus one. So that's another two hits against the Fatso. It's more luck than skill, seriously. But he needs to reload again. Totally worth it. Okay, <clears throat> and this follower reloads and fires at the Fatso or at the Schemmler. No, it fires at the Fatso. On A4, Fatso tries to defend on A3. Three plus five minus one is seven. That's a perfect defense. So let's only wait for rerolls for reloads. Nope. And this follower advances. And from here she shoots the yeah, shambler as well as Fatso are in cover. She shoots at the shambler, which is already wounded on a Four. The Shambler tries to defend on a one. Scores a six. So it defends. And this, this guy needs to reload. Okay. <laughs> this is all pretty bad. Mm. Alice once again tries to activate. Nope. Yeah, then sanity takes its toll. Okay. Um, there's still a zombie standing here in the corner. So this follower reloads and fires at the zombie on a three. The zombie tries to defend on a one, but fails the defense. So, okay, it was a six. It's here come the hits required to take the zombie out. Very good. Mm. This follower fires at the fatso on a on a on a on a five. The fatso tries to defend on a two. Fails the defense. That's one hit, however, the Fatso is within cover. It's still a hit. Good job. Fatso receives a hit counter. And the other follower fires at the Fatso as well. So, once again on a five. Fatso tries to defend on a two with a six turning five. That's a defense. So the player just checks for reload, but doesn't have to. Good. This leaves Doc, who has got his spirit die on the two. That's too low to actually cast a spell, or is it? No, it's not. Doc casts an explosion, or tries to cast an explosion. Let's check for successes. That's two successes. So he attacks the Fatso with the explosion and anything within a reach of two inches. Um, very good. The spirit dies raised by one, and because of two successes, his insanity raises by two. 
however, with two choir members within reach, that's pretty good manageable. So he attacks the um, the fatso on a three. Fatso tries to defend on a six. the attack. And then he attacks the um, the shambler behind the fatso on a five. The shambler tries to defend on a two. Scores a six. So only results of seven will hurt the shambler and yeah he defends. Ah, too bad. Nice move. Good idea, but too bad it didn't work out. All right. This, ah, uh, yeah, right. Our ambassador charges into the open. Panic! Zombies turn. <laughs> Let's start with this one. This one already has got a wound marker, so it's being shot at by anyone, everyone. On a two. Everyone, mod including uh, the followers will shoot the Shambler on a two. The Shambler tries to defend on a three, so... Mod gets to attack first. Um, he is still in precision shot mode, so he receives the, um, plus two on any die rolled. He needs to reload, but he scores the final hit needed to take down the zombie. So this leaves one, two, three, Four, five, six followers to check for ammunition. One, two, three, four, five, six. No one. Very good. Next. Okay. Once again, everyone. Six followers I just counted, that may now fire at the Shambler, they fire on a, screw it, on a three, the Shambler tries to defend on a five, so first one, scores one hit, second, Cause the remaining hits. Good job. The sleeves. Four followers who need to check for ammunition. One, two, two, three. Okay. Another shambler gets closer. Anyone left with enough ammunition to fire at the Shambler? Okay, let's see. One, two, three. These guys still may open fire. So on a five and the Shambler tries to defend on a five. Two and three. The Shambler defends. The Shambler defends everything. So the three just check their ammunition. Okay. Here comes a Shambler. Anyone left? One, two, three. Yep, once again. 
the same maneuver on a five. The Shamrock tries to defend on a two, fails the defense. So, first follow up. Two hits already. Great. Second and third. Just check for ammunition. And still keep the loaded guns. So there's a Shambler way back there, which is getting somewhat closer. But it's out of reach to anyone. We've got no runner for the moment. And this Fatso. Just three inch, not four. Moves in. Two followers are left, which can open fire. They'll do so on a six. Just because. The Fatso tries to defend on a two and defends. Too bad. First follower, second follower. <clears throat> oh, guys. Oh, 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 oh. And way back here, our new Fatso moves closer. All right, time for a new turn. New zombies have spawned, shamblers, and a runner. So, what can I do? I think I'll start with Big Jim. Big Jim reloads and fires at the Fatso on a three on a three. The Fatso tries to defend on a three. Three plus five minus one is seven. So the Fatso defends. Big Jim checks for <laughs> impossible. These guys are the worst. Great. Um, his followers move and shoot on a four. The Fatso tries to defend on a four. Oh boy. Four plus four minus one is. Seven, so just check for reloads. No, at least not that. Mm, where is the other one? Ah, here. This one reloads and fires at the Fatso. Oh, come on, on a five. The Fatso tries to defend on a four. Four plus five minus one is eight. It's still a slight chance for the follower to hit. It's a six and eleven, ten, so nope, not a hit. <sighs> Dang. Mm. Alice catches breath. That's an automatic action that always succeeds. A follower reloads. Opening fire on a six on the Fatso. Come on. The Fatso tries to defend on a four. Defense. Reload. Okay. At least not that. Okay. Mm. This leaves these two guys and Mort with his followers. Okay, 
this one reloads fires at the fatso on a2 the fatso tries to defend on a one but as the fatso receives a minus one to each of his dice a one is two uh, is, is makes it impossible for the fatso to defend so let's just check for hits not a hit but at least no reload and the other follower uh, same maneuver on a two also Fatso tries to defend on a four. That's too slow. And here comes a final hit, taking down the Fatso. Whoo! All right, at least this one's gone. Okay, so we've got Mort and his followers, who now can take care of the zombies back here. So Mort reloads and uses his volley ability to fire two shots at the runner back here and one shot at the shambler. Mm, he fires on a four. The runner tries to defend on a two. Two plus six is eight plus one is nine. And the Shambler tries to defend on a 3, plus 4 is 7. So, Mort gets to fire two shots at the runner versus a defense result of 9. So, only results of 7 and 8 are actually hit. And as he receives a plus 1 to shoot against the runner, even this one turns into a 9, so it's not a hit. And this one is automatically. Oh man. <sighs> then we've got this guy who reloads and fires at the shambler on a five. The Shambler tries to defend on a 5, 6, 7, 8, the only results of 7 hit, 5, 6, 7, 1 hit on the Shambler, and where is the other one? Here, this one advances, there. Firing at the Shambler 2 on a 3. The Shambler tries to defend on a 1. Fails the defense. So, yep, here come the hits to take down the Shambler. All right, no hour. Panicked Ambassador keeps on running forward, and there are still zombies left in the area. I have forgotten Doc, who um, spends his turn by raising his spirit die on a value of 4, so his next spells are going to be more powerful. Here, from back here, from behind the corner from behind the cover of the building a shambler appears mm. and well yes everyone fires at the shambler let's start with mod on a two the followers on a Four. The Shambler tries to defend on a two, scoring an eight. So only results of seven will result in hits. Mod starts. It's 
one result of seven, it's the first hit against the Shambler. Mm. Okay, the follow us one by one. This one, seven, seven, perfect. Hopla. Shambler's taken out. This leaves one, two, three, four, five, six followers to check their ammunition. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Good, good, good. Hmm. Zombies are moving in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm, yep. Everyone can shoot the zombie. Again, starting with Mord on a three and the followers on a five. The zombie tries to defend on a two. Fails the defense. So, Mort scores the first hit. And now the followers one by one. So this one. Yep. Here we go. And five more followers who need to check ammunition okay very good very good I've got a shambler back here shambling somewhat closer nope not within reach of anyone this one gets closer Okay. Okay. It's just these two guys who can fire at the Shambler. Mm, and the both of them do so on a five. Or on a six. No, I'll take the five. I'll turn it down to a four. This should suffice. The Shambler tries to defend on a six, uh, on a one, and defends. Okay, so the two of them just take the ammunition. Yeah. It was so crystal clear. And we've got another Shambler back here. It gets closer, but should be out of, yeah, it's out of reach. We've got a runner. Oops. The runner is in distance to this one, causing base contact. Um, do I interfere? Does anyone return fire on my guy getting attacked? No, I don't think so. Mm. My follower tries to defend on a three, whereas the runner attacks on a six. <laughs> Let's hope my follower defends. No, he doesn't. Ouch. So, yeah, six is an automatic hit. The follower is taken out. And um, is replaced by another follower. Mm. Ouch! <laughs> and this was only this runner's first action. So he gets another one and he goes for the next closer um, character, which is another follower. And 
do I still not interfere? I think I'll let Maud interfere. It's a 50-50 chance of killing the own um, killing the own character. Maud shoots on a two. The follower tries to defend on a three. The 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 the, the runner attacks on a five. So Maud shoots on a one to three. The uh, zombie on a four to six. Um, this one, but he rolls a one, so he hits the zombie. Three dice, receiving a plus one, and that's two hits against the runner. Phew, good shot. Good shot. Okay. And the fat so gets closer. And only this one may open fire on a on a six. The fatso tries to defend on a four. Defense entirely. As this one checks for reloads, and yes, here it comes. All right, time for a new turn. Yeah, a shambler has spawned, a shambler has spawned, a shambler has spawned, and another fatso has spawned right in the way the ambassador is going to take during this turn. Oh dear. Let's be honest, I have no uh, no idea, no clue how I am supposed to save the ambassador from becoming ripped apart by the zombies in his path. Then again, this is nightmare mode. It's supposed to work like this. Um, I'm starting with Big Jim up here, who reloads and fires at the uh, runner down here on a, uh, on a three. The runner tries to defend on a five. It's too slow. So one hit against the runner. <laughs> this follower moves here and fires at the runner too. On a two, the runner tries to defend on a one and defends. No reload, okay. This one reloads, fires at the runner on a on a three. The runner tries to defend on a six. This was a six. That's another hit. I forgot the reload die. Okay, runner's taken out. At least there's that. Ha 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 ha. No what? Is Mort within reach? To uh, close, but not close enough. He could fire at this shambler. So he does this exactly by going into precision shot mode once again. And he 
fires on a2. The Shambler tries to defend on a4. It's too slow. So receiving a bonus of plus two against the Shambler on each of the dice, at least the Shambler is taken out. Okay. <laughs> this follower reloads and fires at this guy. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. He, the, the, the line of sight crosses terrain. Mm, that's bad. Shoots on a five. Fatso tries to defend on a three. Fatso receives a minus one, so he defends. Reload, no. <laughs> Alice catches breath. A follower advances and fires at the at the fatso on a4. Fatso tries to defend on a2. Yep, here comes the defense. Reload, no. Are these guys anywhere within reach? No, they aren't. Not even to the one here? Yeah, here. There's another Shambler back here. So these guys can fire at the Shambler one by one. This one first. On um, a four. Shambler tries to defend on a one. Fails. So... Two hits. Perfect. Shambler is taken out. Mm. This leaves us with stock. Even so, somewhat insane. Um, his insanity score is low enough as he's got two choirs within reach, so he can activate. And he tries to cast a spell on Maud, so he can make him go another time in this turn. With a spirit die of four, that's three successes. So, the spell works on any member of the gang within 3 times 4 or 12 inch. And yes, Mort is within 12 inch. So, Mort may fire once again at the Fatso back here or over there. And... He shoots the Fatso on a 5. Fatso tries to defend on a 4. This one drops out. That's a defense of 8. At least a slight chance for hits. Receiving a with a plus 1 on each die. Five, six, seven, eight. At least one hit against the fat so taking it down to five toughness. Okay. The zombies turn. Yeah, I forgot. The panicked ambassador has run forward four inches and now his um, three inches away from both of the fat zones. So my best guess is at the end of the turn, the ambassador is going to be toast or rather a zombie. Uh, 
let's do the steps one by one anyway. From behind here, from the cover here, another Shambler emerges his four inches and once again everyone opens fire at the Shambler. Um, Mort receiving his plus two bonus uh, on a two, the followers on a five, the Shambler tries to defend on a one, defends everything. So Mort first, nope, but one, two, three, four, um, five, six followers. Checking for ammunition. Follower number five has to reload. Okay. <laughs> there are some more shamblers shambling around. Yeah. Everyone up to Mort can shoot at the shambler. Mm. On a three, the followers on a, ah, screw it, everyone just shoots on a three. The Shambler tries to defend on a five. So, Mort first, receiving a plus two, takes the Shambler out, no questions asked. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four, okay. Uh -huh. The Shambler is close enough for those two. So they both fire on a five. Shambler tries to defend on a three. Fails. This tree annoys me. First one, two hits. Second one, no reload. Good. And action. This one comes here. Yep. Once again, these four may shoot at the Shambler. On a Two, Shambler tries to defend on a five. First follower, first hit. Second follower, second hit. Third. There's one Shambler way back here. He should not be within reach for anyone, and he isn't, no. All right, and yeah. My eyes did not deceive me, unfortunately. They are three inches away. Do I react? Or do I just let the, the ambassador defend and hope for the best? I let the ambassador defend and hope for the best. Mm. The ambassador defends on a three, the fatso attacks on a one. That doesn't make any sense, seriously. The one would be a complete blow into the emptiness. However, a six makes very much sense for the fatso. So let's see how well the ambassador defends and he defends pretty good. So he just blocks away the onslaught of the fatso and the other fatso approaches. Mm. Do I risk it once again? 
again on a three, the Fatso attacks on a five, the Ambassador blocks once again, the other Fatso. Very, very good, very tough. All right, we've got another turn where we can see what we can do. Some more Shamblers have spawned, as well as a runner. And our ambassador is in deep trouble because it will continue uh, the, the journey, the run to the exit. And by running away, um, the zombies will, yeah, try to, to, to munch the ambassador. Uh, ha, 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 ha. All right. I think one of my worst ideas was putting Big Jim up here. So he comes back down and fires at the runner back here. On a three, the runner tries to defend on a five. Two hits and the runner is taken out. Okay. This follower moves here, jumps onto the crate and fires at the shambler back there on a five. The shambler tries to defend on a three. Scores on nine, so only results of seven and eight are hits. Not a single hit, but reload marker. Hmm, <laughs> the other follower moves up here, fires at the shambler on a four. The shambler tries to defend on a four. Defense. And the follower needs to reload. Oh, guys. Seriously. And this follower jumps up here. Fires at the Shambler. Screw it. On a six. Shambler tries to defend on a five. <laughs> Defense. That's a tough guy. Tough as nails. <laughs> okay, Alice reloads and fires at the Shambler here on a three. Shambler tries to defend on a five. It's too slow. So at least one hit. On the shambler. Okay, this follower reloads, fires at the shambler two on a two. The shambler tries to defend on a two, fails, and receives the remaining hit required to take it out. This follower moves just around here. Nah, no. Don't shoot at the zombies. You might hit the ambassador. <laughs> Mort and Doc may still act. The question is, do I try to shoot into this melee? Uh, I mean, after all, I have a chance of two and three of hitting one of the fat cells. Yes, I think I'll do it. On a... Precision shot. Yep. 
within range and shooting on a four. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang. <sighs> the ambassador defense on a four. <clears throat> Scoring an eight. So let's see, Mort rolls a one, that's a five, six, seven. Shooting down the own person, the own mission objective. Uh, yeah, great. That was way too bad. Uh, that was way too bad. Couldn't even cast an explosion with Doc. As the explosion would simply rip the ambassador apart or I'll attack the ambassador on a one hoping the attack fails it sounds like at least a vague idea of a plan okay doc tries to activate one Two, three, below five. Too bad. Doc cannot activate. Okay, the ambassador cannot run away. But it's the zombie's turn now. All right. The, these two guys probably are going to have a nice munchie here. However, the shamblers are first. This one moves in. Do I react? I think I'll have Mod react. She mm. reacts on a Two. The Shambler is trying to attack the Ambassador on a three. These two are going for attacks. The central one on a three, the right one on a five. So let's see. Mod hits on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six. The fatso in the center. That's not even a single hit. And he needs to reload his weapon. So I say let's say goodbye to our ambassador. The Shambler attacks on a three and yep here comes the remaining hit required to take the ambassador out of the game replacing it by a zombie. Arr. Damn. Yeah, here we are back at the scene of crime with those who have been left behind with Big Jim, 
who, in my opinion, spent way too much time here on the rooftop. Uh, it was bad idea number one. Mord, who, yeah, shot the mission objective. Good job, good job. Doc, with his head so deep in the spirit world that he is close to insanity. And, of course, Alice, who, yeah, well, has lost her hounds to zombies and didn't have a slight chance to, to show off her skills. Um, if you understand German, you might want to check out the German Let's Play, where she has at least uh, one or two uh, chances to demonstrate her animal handling skill. And yeah, here our uh, panicked ambassador who ran into the zombie crowd back here. And yes, this was her ultimate demise. Um, huh. To be honest, I have no idea what I could have done better, except for, well, maybe keeping uh, Big Jim here a bit more in action. Um, if you have any ideas where I could have played differently, drop me some annotations into the comments, please. And I'll see what I can do to play better the next time. And yeah, if you liked the video, uh, I say thank you for watching. Please don't forget to drop me a like, uh, share this video with anyone you think might want to see it. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, do subscribe so you keep up to date with uh, more videos about Duel or any other system I like. And yeah, until we see you again. Bye bye.